This is my prayer to thee, my Lord. Strike, strike at the root of penury in my heart. This is my prayer to thee, my Lord. Strike. Strike at the root of penury in my heart. Give me the strength likely to bear my joys and sorrows, joys and sorrows, joys and sorrows. This is my prayer to thee, my Lord. Strike, strike at the root of penury in my heart. Give me the strength to make my love fruitful in service, fruitful in service, fruitful in service. This is my prayer to thee, my Lord. Strike, strike at the root of penury in my Hello everyone, I am Ashwini Malghan, work for studies and research in English. Dear friends, English language plays an important role in our life. International English Day on 23rd of April, which is traditionally observed as a birth anniversary and death anniversary of William Shakespeare. The celebration aim is to entertain as well as to inform with the goal of increasing awareness and the respect for the history and the culture of English language and the achievement. William Shakespeare changed the world and influenced the world in many ways. For one thing, he wrote the plays with the common man in a mind. He wished for the generation, for the general public and to be able to see people enjoy in theatre rather than just the supremely rich and the royal people. He changed the world, he changed the people, way to look at the theatres, created many creations. But how did he influence English language is a question. His works and contributions stand standardized. English language, rules and grammar which was highly influenced in 17th and 18th century. He introduced new words as well as phrases, great enrichments in English language which made more expensive and colorful. Shakespeare introduced more than 170 original words into English language, many of which are still used. Finally, William Shakespeare had a profound impact in the history of English language. His poetry and literature that lasted centuries. His perfect palace verses became the standard in the language of literature. We found many other legendaries in the history of English language and literature. This program is a small gratitude to all those contributors to make English as world language. I thank my colleague and Department of Language to provide me this chance. Thank you everyone.
good morning everybody i am professor ramesh rathod chairman department of english juk dear students i am missing you all hope you all are doing well and safe and healthy at your home along with your parents and relatives today is a memorable day i hope you all know that 23rd april is william shakespeare's birthday our department of english is celebrating his birthday as english day or english literary fest as you all know william shakespeare is a renowned writer he has written 37 plays and 154 sonnets his works are world famous works he is widely read by the people throughout the world when we see his life and birth we find very interesting things shakespeare was born in a poor family his father was a leather merchant whom we call chamar in india He was born on 23rd April 1564 at Stratford upon Avon. It is 100 miles away from London city. Stratford village is situated on the bank of the river called Avon. Therefore it is called Stratford upon Avon. Shakespeare learnt only primary school. at stratford village he has not even completed matriculation he married at the age of 18 his wife's name is anna hathway who was 8 years elder to him at the time of their marriage anna hathway was 26 years old lady and shakespeare was just 18 years old boy after his marriage when he was 19 years old he joined for a job that is because of his poverty it is his personal life when we see shakespeare as a writer he was a marvelous writer he was a very innovative writer and his writing style is very simple he writes in blank verse and a simple prose shakespeare wrote 37 plays over the course of two decades from 1590 to 1630 his main themes are taken from histories he has written tragedies comedies and tragic comedies as well you know his famous plays are romeo and juliet julius caesar a midsummer night's dream twelfth night as you like it merchant of venice and great tragedies like uh, hamlet othello macbeth king lear and so on and his other plays are tempest all's well that ends well major for major and so on so like this shakespeare is a great writer and to remember him or to celebrate his birthday as a english literary day is very meaningful i am very happy that our english department students are celebrating this day on this occasion i am very much thankful to mr anil aprom mr gopal ms ashwini malagan and mrs radha the guest faculty department of english pg center raichu for their concern and hard work for designing today's online program 
I also thank the special officer and other faculty staff of PG Center Raichur who have been involved in this celebration. It's a great opportunity for me to speak few words on this occasion regarding William Shakespeare. I know the PG students and faculty are doing many activities on this occasion. So I don't want to take more time. I thank you all and wish you always the best. Good luck. Hello Namaskar. Hi everyone. Respected Chief Guest of today's function, Faculty of the Department of English PG Center I Tour and my dear students. First of all, I would like to convey my heartiest wishes to all of you on the occasion of International English Day, which is celebrated on April 23rd, which happens to be the birthday and death anniversary of William Shakespeare. But this year's celebration is very special as all of us are at home because of COVID-19 lockdown. At this juncture, the faculty and the students of the Department of English have chosen a new way of celebrating the International English Day online. I sincerely appreciate their efforts to do this program. Already the chief guest of today's function has already briefed you the importance and significance of English language. So I'll not take much of your time. So English language is globally accepted language and each one must learn it. We should not have hatredness for this language as it is a foreign language. We should love this language, English speaking capability. I suggest all of you to read English newspapers regularly, watch English news on TV and read English books and novels. You also try to cultivate the habit of writing English. See, in this juncture of COVID-19, we have come to know so many English words such as quarantine, isolation, sanitization, then uh, lockdown, seal down, social distancing, containment, uh, immunity, vaccine, etc. So you have come to know so many English words. So, uh, okay, let me conclude my speech by congratulating once again Mr. Anil Apra, Ms. Ashwini and the faculty of the Department of English and the students of the Department of English for materializing this International English Day online, which is a new concept. I request all of you to stay home, stay safe and fight against coronavirus. And we all pray God for good health and let us chase the coronavirus from this earth itself. So once again, I thank the organizers for giving me an opportunity to share my thoughts with all of you. Thank you.
Vishwakarma studying in MCOM final year in Raichur PG Center. I am very happy to draw William Shakespeare portrait International English Day conducted by English Department of PG Center Raichur. Even though during Corona effect I say heartily thanks to Anil Abrahan sir and Ashwini madam. Happy International English Day to all of you on account of the birthday and uh, death anniversary of uh, William Shakespeare Department of English PG Center Raichur celebrates International English Language Day every year very grandly this year as we know that we are under COVID-19 and national lockdown we are not able to conduct the program in the campus but uh, we have planned to conduct this program through online by recording some pre video records and uh, editing them and sending them to youtube channel so that like that we want to conduct this program about this we spoke to our uh, chairman dr ramesh rakot sir and uh, special officer of pg center parvati cs ma'am they appreciated it and even uh, they supported us a lot first of all i would like to thank dr ramesh rakot professor and chairman department of studies and research in english and professor parvati cs madam special officer pg center raichur for supporting us and sending a video on chief guest speech and presidential remarks respectively and i thank professor nusrat fatima madam dr p baskar sir shri vasudev jirgi sir dr gs brother sir for their support and i thank my department's colleague shri gopal mrs radha and ashwini malagan for their support i personally thank mrs ashwini malagan because in conducting this program she really did a good work she supported me a lot in collecting and editing the things by using technological advancement thank you ashwini malagan and i thank mrs anjana kulkarni who is uh, 
my friend uh, from uh, Gulbarga. Thank you so much for accepting our request to sing a prayer song. I thank Mr. Sarvagna for uh, drawing a portrait of uh, William Shakespeare. I thank my department's students and other department's students. I thank all the teaching and non-teaching faculty of PG Center Raichur. I once again thank you all. Thank you.